Hello guys, welcome back to SandVFX. This is week 2 on our script tweak tutorial series and I'm really sorry for creating a tutorial this late because I was really busy and I didn't got a time to record a tutorial. So here I'm now back with uh, two different scripts in this week. Okay, the first one is Spline Rope and the next one is Spline Fibers. Both are from the same developers and they're really a simple scripts and maybe useful sometime. Okay, so let's have a look at. First of all, let me go to Mac script and run script. Uh, let me browse to my script files. Scripts. Okay. Spline rope. Okay. Let me open it. You can see that the script has got nothing much controls. Really simple. Just few of these controls and not so difficult. Okay. So in order to get uh, started with the script, we need to first create a line. Okay, go to spline and create a line. Let me create something randomly. Okay, that'll be fine. Let me get rid of the selection bracket by pressing the G key. Okay, now once that I have created my spline, let me go to my script and pick spline and select my spline. Okay, now let me hit this set control button. Now you can see one of these uh, controls right here. You can also unhide other controls which are situated in the middle of the spline by clicking this unhide points button and you can control each of these points. Okay? And let me up oh, sorry, hide point and let me set this uh, select this control uh, and let me move it. Okay. Now you can see that the spline is moving as I move the point, but it is acting a little weird. Okay but I guess this is acting a little weird okay so what I got to do is go to modify tab select the spline select all the vertices and s right click smooth them okay once I do that now they will start acting perfectly okay that's good you can see that now you can again unhide the points and control each point separately okay you can see or this point right here okay or th this last point okay and this one's the master control it controls all the rope okay now you can set your animations and create some cool looking rope animations or you can also select the spline go to rendering enable it in viewport or renderer let me increase the thickness a little more okay now you get a rope you just got to texture it and then once you animate it it will look as if like a rope animation okay that's a really cool one for creating a rope rig or something like that you don't have to rig it manually and just easily you can use the script to create a simple rope okay that's it with spline rope now we're gonna take a look at another script called spline fibers okay this one's another cool uh, script okay uh, let me again create a spline. Okay. Let me go with something like this. Okay. And let me get rid of this enable and view program renderer. Okay. Now let me pick my shape. Okay. Now this scripts help you to create a collection of fibers or let's say collection of ropes. Something like if you have some lots of wires c together and so it helps you create such types of things so you'll understand in a little bit little bit while okay let me update in viewport and x and 5 count let me hit this point preview and you can see the point previews so this will be the um, hours let's say the ropes or let's say the wires or something let me hit generate and now you can see that it has generated some splines or which are even twisting air together okay now I can also enable in viewport and you can see this uh, uh, mesh right there okay and I can increase the size to make it a little more smooth or round you can see that to go will be fine or you can increase the thickness more or less okay that looks really good okay okay let me get clear now 
and I have lots of different things right here like the random offset you can offset your point or you can set a radius let me go to get rid of offset and I can set my inner radius so that I get a hollow in the middle or from the outer radius to make it circle something like that okay I need to increase the point let me set it to 10 by 10 so that I get a little more bigger one and then I can now uh, set it okay you can see that now it's getting round also I can have some inner radius as well okay and if I again generate it now you can see that it has a hollow in the middle and it is generating okay let it, let it get generated because it's I've enabled it in viewport so it is a little bit slow right now but it'll be over soon just wait for a while and this script can be really useful when you are creating something like uh, electrical field where you have lots of wires twisted together a piles of wire and something like that it can be really useful and also in sometimes while building a interior modeling then if you have a computer or something there are lots of wires bended together or something like that you can create something like that and there are lots of possibilities okay so let me can clear this and now I have this length also let me get rid of this enabled in viewport and I can increase the length let's say 150 or their growth rate and randomize you can random the length so let me random it by 50 and let me hit generate okay now let's see at the end now you can see that some are a little longer and some are a little shorter and let me enable in viewport and you can see that some end right at this point and some are up to this point okay so you can randomize the length as well or you can change the turn stretch them or random or set it into random directions so it gets really messy and they goes in different direction right now they're all following the same direction but once you set the random direction they will be forming in different direction you can see some are going through this way and some are coming through this way you can see better right now okay some are coming from this side right this and some are going from this side this is what the random direction refers to okay so you do have some direction curves as well for these curves uh, let me set this something like that and let's see what changes we get okay now you can see that it's a little more different now from here there are not much turns and from he here onward they are getting more randomized okay so the directions it is one at this point at around the end so it is all randomized there and it is zero right here so let me put this up to one and this one down and let me clear the field and generate okay now you can see that at this point they are more randomized than at this point okay so that's what the curve is as well so that's it with this tutorial there's nothing more and the scripts are really simple just go ahead and try it out and think of different possibilities you can create using the scripts it can be really time saving for you during production level as well okay so thank you guys for watching and I'm really extremely sorry that I have not even been able to continue the 3ds max basic series tutorials as well but I soon get back to that uh, that one as well and create a tutorial soon so hope to see you guys soon and don't forget to subscribe and hit like thank you for watching have a good day